Hey guys, welcome to another server minor plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007 and today we're looking at the Activity Rewarder plugin. So this is a really cool plugin which allows you to reward your players day by day for logging into your Minecraft server and if they do it consecutively they can add additional rewards. Now there's a really useful GUI which if we do forward slash rewards is going to pop up. You can customize this and there's a few different templates which we'll look at but effectively you can hover over each day and it shows you what the reward is and you can see each day that has a different icon is a much better reward. So this is a large one with diamonds and emeralds whereas the other ones you just get a cactus and a cookie and obviously you can customize this how you want. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel and as you can see there is a single config.yml. If we jump in here we can change a few things. So we've got the messages up at the top, we don't really need to customize that. Then we have the GUI, so this is where we can make it look a little bit different. For example, we've got the title, so what we could do is change the format codes here to AND A AND O and then you could write whatever you wanted up here, for example. Then we have all the different templates, so I'm using bordered large, uh, however if we go to this link here, this is going to give you an idea what the other templates look like. So this is what you get by default, um, and if we scroll down there's a compact one, here's the bordered large, um, so you can really just choose whichever one you want. I'm just going to go back to the compact, uh, just to demonstrate it, so just copy and paste whichever one you want in here. And then upcoming reward, whether the next large reward will be shown in GUI, yes or no. Order item, so you can change this to whatever you want. Uh, for example, you could change it to a diamond, and then collected item could be stone. Now if we were to save this, do rewards reload, and then rewards, you can see that it looks a lot different. Now this looks a lot uglier, in fact, um, you can see you can't see as much. I'm not really a fan of this, I preferred it the other way. but that's what it looks like and then if we were to click day one you can see that it turns to stone once it's been collected and I can't collect the next day um, until tomorrow and then here is my reward now if we go back into the config we can go down to some more information so loop length how many days before the reward cycle loops so two weeks at the moment the reminder period so this is 1800 seconds before it will send a message to the player letting them know they have a reward and then do you want a player's days to reset if they miss one so that will stop people from getting the bonus rewards uh, for having a streak. Then you have the different sizes so I don't have any medium ones but you can see that in the GUI it's indicated what kind of reward it is by the display item. Now what you can also do is have an hourly bonus. Now depending on the permission you give someone so here's the default one but if they have this permission they will get rank 1 rewards with a multiplier of 2 and they will get a diamond every hour. Then if we go down to the days, this is the main section of rewards, you can see default is size small and you get a cactus and a cookie and then obviously the items are here, you get 12 of them and then you can do as many days as you want and skip certain days, so we've got 1, 2, 5, 6, this is the one that I created. Um, so if you want to create a brand new one, all you need to do is just copy and paste an existing one and then you can customize it however you want. We'll do medium for this one. And then you could change it to maybe stone. And there we go. And you could keep going all the way along until obviously 30, so a whole month you get three diamonds and a golden apple. So finally, if we were to reload it, Go back into rewards, you can see that day 7 is a medium one um, and it has a different icon. If you want to download it, head over to the Spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.16 to 1.19. You've got placeholders here if you want to hook it into another plugin and then the config file as well. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serveminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. That's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment and I'll see you next time.